YouTube, it's Weird Paul. Today I'm going to show small things and packages that were sent to me by subscribers from Twitch and YouTube. So let's take a look at what I got. YouTube subscriber Jacob Reinhardt sent me a shirt from his band, The Stinky Meatballs. And he sent me a Stinky Meatballs hat, too. Plus some stickers and his band CD, Emotional Roller Coaster. If you like pop punk music, then make sure you check them out. Excellent! YouTube subscriber Artemis Freeman sent a That's Gross Growing Body Part, some animal stencils, a bunch of plastic animals and little toys, seven Marvel 1992 trading cards, and a sealed pack of Pro Set Save the Animals cards. But my favorite thing he sent is these 1988 plastic cartoon character pins. Super cool. And he sent one Jim Abbott baseball pog from 7-Eleven. You're out! Twitch subscriber Bulldog Tommy sent me this whistle that has my name burned into it, and I blow it every time my hype train starts on Twitch. But here it is. I'm blowing it. <laughs> if we get that far, that's amazing. That my friend John Marvel sends care packages to Niffer and me every few months. Let's see what we got this time. Ten bars of ivory soap, a Doylestown Health zip case with a brush and moisturizer and stuff, a ten pack of Bachman pretzel sticks, mmm, Ritz peanut butter crackers, a fig cereal bar, microwave popcorn, and the classic Jiffy Pop. As much fun to make as it is to eat. Scott Miller sent me two issues of his awesome zine called Strange Tapes about weird VHS cassettes. And in issue number seven, there's an interview with me where I talk about my music and my VHS collection. <gasps> Doomsday's Today Records sent me a whole bunch of their heavy metal cassette releases. Got Insanity's Rain. It's thrashy. Sounds like early Metallica. Chains of Belmont will get you pumping your fist. Bush Hog Suicide has killer riffs with evil sounding vocals, and you're fired as the fastest speed metal possible. Doug Stapp takes me back to the glorious days of instrumental metal. Silent Storm has that classic metal sound, great chord progressions, and melodic solos. Of Blood and Mockery is a little more experimental, like art metal. A hanging is fast stuff with slower mosh parts and bitchin' solos. Static of Masses is atmospheric and noisy, and Zogthorvan is doom metal, distorted vocals and synths. Also got the cassette by Nihilistic Outlaw Criminal Order, a band founded by Doomsday's Today Records owner Paul Sanchez. Interesting stuff, including noise and backwards recordings. There's links down below in the description so you can check out all the metal. He also sent me this cool shirt from Ralph's Records in Lubbock, Texas. Ralph's Records stickers, some great live metal CDs, and some fanzines like A Wormhole, Asymmetrical Anti-Media, Paranoise, and Ear of Corn, which has a cool sockeye article. YouTube subscriber Ben Hughes sent me these Deforms blind box Bruce Lee figures. Pretty cool. My Tiger Kung Fu is better than yours. My Twitch subscribers Gray McChubbs and Mac Daddy Jill sent me six Florida postcards. And YouTube subscriber and frequent Howard Stern caller The Balls from Elwood gave me this dead and buried Blu-ray. Amorous Zickel sent me nine vintage issues of Nickelodeon magazine from 1997 through 2002. I got this cat-dog question wheel game, Riddler Pez dispenser, 2006 Chicken Little from Kellogg's, 2003 Kirby, 2007 Lucky Charms game popper, a fingerboard from McDonald's in the year 2000, and this 1999 Tarzan. Plus this SpongeBob magnetic notebook, and check out this bag from Ames Department Store. All Ames stores were closed by 2002, almost 20 years ago. That's rare. Subscriber Ken Palmer sent me seven Pokemon cards, a Don Russ football card, and an old Leaf Diamond King puzzle card, a Stone Mountain Park bag, a map of Wilmington, North Carolina, a pile of old photos including a totally delicious looking Powerpuff Girls birthday cake, and the DVD of the movie The Adventures of Pinocchio. I actually watched this back when it came out because I wanted to see Udo Kier in it. It's 
room is terrible. Twitch subscriber Stars Crunch sent me some of the books that she published. They include Studies in Buddhism, The Tree of Wisdom, American Indian Freemasonry, Crystal Vision Through Crystal Gazing, and Alastair Crowley and Charles Baudelaire's The Poem of Hashish. <coughs> Twitch subscriber 3313 sent me a bunch of stickers he made of stuff that I used during my live stream, and these cool beach ball and Hello Kitty necklace stickers that I give away on Twitch. We got uh, to give away right now two more of the Weird Paul stickers that 3313 made. We got the Weird Paul Hello Kitty necklace sticker. We got the Beach Ball Weird Paul sticker right here. All right. Black Sasquatch, a band from Ohio, sent me their 2020 EP, The Triangle. It totally rocks, and I love the song Looking for a Bigfoot. <laughs> also got a black Sasquatch guitar pick, stickers, and a coaster. And this fantastic black Sasquatch t-shirt. Twelve-year-old subscriber Christian Alvarado sent me eight Pokemon cards to add to my collection and a really nice letter. And a mystery sender mailed me these great Ernest Borgnine stickers. That is wild. Subscriber Monahay sent some plastic whistles, tops, six dreidels, this funny monster ring, a Raya and the Last Dragon toy from McDonald's, and a yo-yo. Yo-yo? Plus the tape Primitive Rhythm Machine by the Australian metal band Mortification, Top Cat the Movie and Top Cat Begins on DVD, and this Anakin Skywalker that was a General Mills cereal prize in 2013. Wrapped in plastic. Subscribers Samina Cabral and David Ferrier sent me some books in the Prager Film Library series, which I collect. Got a book about the Italian neorealist director Roberto Rossellini. A book focusing on the American films of German expressionist director Fritz Lang that was written by Peter Bogdanovich. And one of my favorite film writers, Phil Hardy, wrote this book about one of my favorite directors, Samuel Fuller. <laughs> I like it. Subscriber Garrick Bilbrey sent me over a hundred old photos from the 1940s all the way until the new millennium. Dude is super hyped for his new DVD player. Here's dad eating an oyster. <coughs> to whoever reads this, life is too short not enjoying life without someone to share your time with. Check these legs out. Wow, look at this super old photo of Devo. Damn! Ooh, how kinky. He also sent this 29-year-old Poor Richard's Drink Special calendar from April of 1992. Paps Boo Ribbon! Twitch subscriber Preposterone sent me these. The only 10 KISS Series 1 trading cards from 1978 that I still needed to complete my collection. It feels great to finally have them all. Why don't we start this examination just a little bit early? Twitch subscriber The Real Wobbly Chair sent me the American Song Whistle. It's epic! Twitch subscriber Kit Kitten underscore sent me this sound machine, which is one of the most important parts of my Twitch stream. And finally, from subscriber Oopaville, I hope he subscribed. <laughs> Oompaville sent me some of his Sour Boys candy. There's rainbow and strawberry flavors, made in Holland with no artificial colorants. Let's try this strawberry flavor first, bruh. Here we go, Strawberry Sour Boys. Rip here, bruh.
A whole bunch of sugar just fell all over my pants. Well, I was concerned that Sour Boy's candy would be very, very sour, more sour than I could handle. But it's not. It's got an, a little bit of a sour taste, so that it is sour. But it's also very sweet tasting, and that's what I like. Nice strawberry taste. And now, the rainbow flavor. Let's go! Rainbow Sour Boys candy. It's every color of the rainbow. Ooh. The Rainbow Sour Boys candy is a lot more sour than the strawberry flavor. That's how I see it. So, if you like sour candy that is very sour, you'll want to get the Rainbow Sour Boys candy. Whereas, if you like sour candy that's not too sour and is sweeter, you'll want to get the Strawberry Sour Boys Sour Candy. And if you like both, I guess you want to get both. Thanks to everyone out there who sent in or gave me this stuff. You're the best. I put links to all the channels, music, and other stuff featured in today's video down in the video description, so be sure to check them all out. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.